let's examine this diagram and see what it's trying to communicate. All right, we have here a nuclear power plant. It's a nuclear fission plant. Fission meaning that we're breaking down some sort of nuclear fuel. The nuclear fuel in this case is U-235, uranium-235, which is a radioactive element which undergoes spontaneous nuclear decomposition. Uh, it can also be accelerated into breaking down by bombarding it with slow neutrons. Now, the fuel itself is located right here in these fuel rods. Within the fuel rods, you've got these little containers of radioactive uranium which is placed in there. Now we also have interdispersed between the fuel rods control rods and these are the control rods right here and the control rods can be inserted between the fuel rods and they can absorb some of those neutrons and in a way slow down or accelerate the nuclear reaction. Okay, the nuclear reaction occurs within this containment vessel right here and it produces a tremendous amount of heat that heat is absorbed by the water which is found in the jacket surrounding the fuel rods so this water right here heats up you can see that we've got a pump here that's pumping the water in this direction so the water goes in and around the fuel rods absorbs heat and then goes into this other chamber right here this is sometimes called a parasitic heat exchange because heat is then given off from this heated water from the original containment vessel that's traveled here and it's given off into a secondary water system and the secondary water system you can see that there's a pump pumping water into it right here the secondary water system heats up so much that the water turns into steam so we have steam which is coming off here and the steam is sent to a turbine generator now the turbine generator is actually two devices. The turbine, which has a lot of blades where the steam impacts the blades of the turbine, causing the turbine to spin. The turbine is connected by a shaft to a generator, and that generator then generates or produces electricity. Now once the steam goes through the turbine, it collects back here, and then it's cooled down. Once it's cooled down, it can either be cooled by air or it could be cooled by water. Then it train changes back into water, collects down at the bottom of this tank, and look, it is pumped back into the system again, and it continues turning back to steam, turning the turbines, and coming here. Very different from our initial setup right here, where we have the highly radioactive spaceport. It's kind of looking crazy there, but I think you get the idea. That's how a nuclear power plant works.